good afternoon. My next video will be on cleaning my vehicle, or vehicles plural, because I have more than one vehicle and I have a lot of crap in it. I'm on my way to an appointment. I want to get in a quick video. All right, be the calm in her storm, but of course, this could be anybody's storm. All right, so this is a tip for handling your business and relationships. Um, so a lot of guys will fall into the trap when they're uh, with their woman and they will, um, yes, exactly, I just said that, not just her storm, it could be anybody's storm, significant other, but it could be in your business too. It could be, you know, being that calm when everybody else is going crazy on your, you know, your team or with uh, coworkers, uh, with clients. I have to be the calm in my client's storm all the time in my real estate transactions. So it's, it's what, is, what does that mean? A lot of people don't know what it means to be a dominant uh, male or person, you know? Um, and it's not uh, being crazy or angry or super vigilant or there's a, there's a uh, extreme, um, there's, a, there's a balance you have to have between drive and calm, right? So you're not, we're not talking about being lethargically calm, like you've smoked too much pot or something and not driven and not accomplishing things and not being assertive or even not being extroverted when that time comes. All right, so we're not talking about being like a hippie, right? But we're talking about having emotional control. And a lot of males will make this mistake with their females and in their relationships. Because your female has, most females, depends on their drives, they want you to be able to confide in them. They want to feel valuable. They want to know that if you're having trouble or emotional distress or if you're not feeling good, you're going to confide in them and talk to them and, and have, um, you know, have this uh, conversation with them and, and just let them know. If you're going to have a meltdown, your girl would rather have you have that meltdown in front of her. All right, so those things are true. She does want to feel valuable and wants you to confide in her, but at the same time, she wants a man. So she doesn't want a guy who is has no emotional control, like what we would classically consider a female, you know, and throwing hissy fits and having these meltdowns all the time. So what guys will get in this habit of doing is because they know that their female wants them to confide in them, is they'll save up all of the day's stressors and then they'll dump it on her at the end of the day. Or they'll dump uh, all of the stuff on her because they're getting out those stressors. They're trying to feel better about what's going on and they're confiding in their significant other. Uh, this is generally a mistake, okay? Because you need to, your, your woman turns to you as the leader in the relationship and she wants you to be the calm in her storm. She wants you to confide in her but she wants to know that she's with a man. She wants to know that she's with somebody who, at the end of the day, is going to get things done and drive the relationship forward for the both of you and drive your lives forward and, and have positive results, okay? She doesn't want somebody who's uncertain and scared and dithering and doesn't know what to do and is having these emotional breakdowns. So a lot of guys will make that mistake with their women and they'll do that because they think that that's what they're there for. I promise you it's not. It's better for you to call your buddy, all right, and, and melt down in front of him, you know, versus dumping it on your girl, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you never confide in your female. There's a balance. It's just that you have to find that strength within yourself. You have to have that emotional control within yourself to handle your own shit. So handle your own stuff on, with you on your own as that strong alpha individual and a strong alpha male, okay? That's what you have to do. And then, you know, you're gonna have those moments of weakness where maybe you confide in your female. And that's okay, but it's all about scale. If, you know, 60% of the time you're dealing with your female, and think about it, analyze your own life, you know? You're waking up in the morning, whether you live with your, your, your girlfriend or whether you're married and you guys live together, right? I mean, whatever. You know, mornings are rushed. You guys go to work or you go off to work. The day happens. Stuff happens. 
you get home five six o'clock you have what a few hours of the day with your with your female if you're just dating you only have a few days a week with her so don't spend that few the little amount of time dumping on her and having a negative outlook on what's going on or at least appearing to have that negative outlook because what that's going to do it's going to make her unattracted to you it's going to make her pull away from you it's going to bring her down essentially she wants you to confide in her but she wants results she wants to know that you're going to at the end of the day handle your shit as a man right so and, and that could be with her help but she wants to know that it's handled so when you do confide and have, you know, you might hulk out and have that breakdown or whatever, and that's okay if, if at the end of it, you figure out what is the positive thing that you can derive from that. So if you have a meltdown, you know, did you leave it with the world's ending and my life sucks and everything's shit? Or did you leave it with, okay, you know, thanks for listening to me. I needed that. I need to get that out. But things are going to get a lot better. You know what I mean? And so that's the difference. Are you leaving it optimistic or are you leaving it pessimistic and uncertain? Because a alpha male is certain about the results that he's going for. And so you need to have that level of certainty. No matter how bad it is, you could be on your last $10 bill and, you know, and, and in over your head in debt and all kinds of problems. And you need to have some certainty that it's going to get better because you're doing things and actioning things to try to make that stuff better so no matter no matter how bad it gets for you as a as a guy i promise you it's bad for her too because she's in the relationship with you so you want to be the person that is going to make it all better right so if you know if you're not demonstrating that strength here's what happens the, the woman sees your lack of strength all your weaknesses she sees them as the a, a burden that she needs to take on now she needs to step up and be strong where you're weak all right and sometimes that's okay because not every person not every you're not going to be 100 percent strong all the time and she wants a sense of value too wants to know she's part of the relationship and that she could you know step in when you're weak she, she's gonna want that if it's a healthy relationship depending on how she's wired but if you're you know weak all the time and she's constantly having to step in and step up and f and fill that those gaps for you then she's going to step into her a masculine role which is someplace she doesn't want to be and then she's going to start you know not liking you as much <laughs> okay she's gonna start being unattracted to you she's not going to want to have sex with you very often she's not gonna you know what I mean she's now having to take on that role as the man and unfortunately because of the way the dynamics of society are that's happening far too often you'll hear women complain that they have to do everything you know what I mean that they're taking on the guy role and the female role and that's not a good thing not a good thing for you as the male because you're just going to find yourself in a relationship with someone who's unhappy and we all know if you're if your females unhappy uh, then you're unhappy probably too okay so it's a two-way street so anyway long that was too long that was <laughs> way, way too long of a video I got an appointment to go to so I'm gonna cut it short there's a lot more to be said about this but uh, at the end of the day, you need to be the calm in her storm. You need to be the calm in everybody's storm too. I mean, again, with clients, I deal with clients who are doing real estate transactions and it gets very emotional because they're dealing with, I mean, it could be, it's probably the largest purchase they're making or the largest sale they're, they're, they're make, you're doing and you know, thousands and thousands of dollars are on the line that matter to them. That money means something to them, means you know college for their kids or paying for stuff or paying for their next house I mean it means a lot and so people get um, people get uh, really uncertain people get really emotional and so if I'm right there with them being uncertain and emotional and being a wreck um, I'm not doing my job as their trusted real estate agent right um, because now everybody's a mess that client is turning to me to have that leadership to have answers to have optimism and to have not an unrealistic view of what's going on, but huh. 
said my phone needs to cool down. It's a hot topic, man. My phone is uh, is uh, getting hot, apparently. Wow. Anyway, well, we'll cut it off here, but you, you get the point is that, you know, in your dealings with other people, you know, you can be vigilant and you can be driven, but you need to have that calm, certain attitude. And that's what people are turning to you for. And if you're a man, that's probably what your woman's turning to you for, too. All right, thanks again for tuning in. You guys make it a great day.